And new tonight, a group of people in our backyard are still struggling to get the help they need. We've been telling you how thousands of migrants seeking asylum have been arriving in D.C. for the past few months now. And more buses keep coming, and we're hearing from a group of men who were dropped off at Union Station this week, and they are now sleeping outdoors. Yeah, they tell us a nonprofit group is only helping families, leaving them to figure out things on their own. They don't have a lot of time either. Yeah, Rafael Sanchez Cruz joins us live at Union Station. Rafael, you spent a lot of time talking to these men. What are they telling you? Leslie, well, another bus of asylum seekers arrived this morning here at Union Station. They were taken to a nearby center to re receive assistance, but these men are saying that they are stranded here at this transit station and they're just looking for a helping hand. For four days, at least 20 asylum seekers from Venezuela have been sleeping in and outside of Union Station after being bused in from Texas. Pero a la hora de que se formó todo, la única que se fueron fueron los... Los que tenían familia. Alfredo says that families with children have been given priority for bus tickets. Uh, they have been told by the nonprofit group SAMU that there are not enough funds to provide them with transportation to New York and Miami. They have grown so desperate that they are willing to stay in the D.C. region. Ayúdenos. Help us with housing. If someone has a home and they can help us, what we want is to work. We have the will to work. We are fighters. We came here for a better future. These concerned D.C. residents felt compelled to bring food and water today. I am a native Washingtonian. I'm a government employee. It breaks my heart. They are human beings. Shame on the Biden administration. Shame on D.C. government. Not in our backyard. These asylum seekers are just one of the most recent groups of the more than 3,000 people that have arrived to the nation's capital as a part of Texas Governor Greg Abbott's plan to bus migrants to D.C., protesting the Biden administration's response to immigration. On top of not having a place to sleep, these men are also facing an impending deadline to comply with their asylum cases. We are worried because immigration asks us for a home to call them this Sunday. This Sunday is our deadline. If we do not call them, we do not know what we're going to do. I consulted an immigration lawyer what happens if they do not have this check in with ICE. She says that this could be used against these asylum seekers in their pending asylum case. Now, I also reached out to Mayor Muriel Bowser's office regarding that letter she received from D.C. council members asking her to use D.C. funds to help the organizations that are assisting these migrants. But we have yet to hear back. Lorenzo. Yeah, we've been contacting the Bowser administration all week and we have not heard from them at all when it comes to this. And, you know, Rafael, we also are keep hearing about these nonprofit groups helping out a number of these asylum seekers here. But what about the federal government? Do we know if any federal agencies are stepping in to help? So FEMA did award one of the organizations helping out a grant. The problem is that they're telling me today is that initially it was approved to help around 1,500 to 2,000 people. And of course, those numbers have now doubled. Oh, it's still nice to see some of these other people stepping in to help uh, in the meantime. Rafael, thank you so much.